Hey guys, thanks for watching our May. Today we are going to do some preparations before performing operations that may lose data. Click like or leave comments if you like this video. Subscribe for more useful tutorial. In some cases, we need to format entire machine. Likewise, upgrade Windows system or reformat disk. As we all know, some personal files on system drive are hard to recreate. The most convenient way is to back up important files before performing operations that may cause data loss. It is recommended to use Alme Backupper. For people who are not skilled at using computers, they may be unable to find exactly where and what important files are. And for those who are computer experts, they can easily distinguish what they really want. For these two different usage habits, I will show two different backup methods. Method 1. Backup designated files. Method 2. Backup entire disk. Method 1. Backup designated files. Firstly, install the wrong Alme backupper. Click Backup to select File Backup. Then, click Add File or Add Folder to add the files from the partition you need to reformat or just the important files, which you are afraid of losing during the system upgrade or other operations. What's more? Select your destination path. You can back up to local disk, external storage, NAS, network share, etc. Here we choose local disk. Finally, click start backup and wait for it. Method 2. Backup entire disk. For unskilled people, finding the path of important files will be troublesome, and it's easy to miss important files. In order to avoid the need to find ways to restore important files later, we choose backup entire disk for unskilled people. Click backup, then click disk backup. Next. Click Add Disk to add your important disk. Below the Add Disk option, choose your destination path. In the end, click Start Backup. Now, you can upgrade the system or reformat disk without worries. Restore specific files from file backup. Firstly, open Omi Backupper. Under Home tab, find the File Backup task. Expand drop down menu and select Restore. Then, select files or folders you want to restore from the list tree and click Next to continue. What's more, select the destination path to restore files. There are two options for you, restore to original location and restore to a new location. You can choose one based on your needs. Next, click Start Restore to start the restoration process. Restore individual files from disk backup. Under Home tab, select Tools and then select Explorer Image. Select the backup that you want to explore from the list box. Next, select the backup time point to explore and click Next. 
In addition, assign drive letters for partitions in the disk image. Click next to mount the image as virtual partitions, and then wait for the process to complete and click finish. You can now find the virtual partitions in Windows Explorer or my computer or this PC, and copy the files you want to their original location or to a new location. Tips. To remove virtual partitions after you retrieve desired files, you can go to Home, Tools, Explore Image, take virtual partitions in the list, and click Detach. If you do not remove virtual partitions manually, they will be automatically detached when the computer shuts down.